Yay, there we got it. Happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee from creativelyyours.com and excited to be here with you today doing a little bit of paper crafting. So I've got a, a cute, I think it's cute, wintry project. Could be a holiday card if you'd like it to be based on my sentiment. Let's say it's a holiday card. Um, so I am going to switch my camera over and we're going to get started with our crafty fun. We've got a little sketch challenge today. All right, uh, before I go, there's a, here it is, sneak peek behind me. Um, we just launched our Makers Mojo Graceful Tiles card class to go. So these are like my normal card kits um, where your supplies are cut, all set up for you, and mailed directly to you at home so that you can have your crafty fun. And there's a PDF tutorial. There'll be five different projects, and you'll get one of each design. So I've got three of them sneak peeks right behind me. Um, so anyway, uh, that registration is going on now, and it closes on November 5th, I believe. So that is on my website. Of course, if you are on my email list, you will get emails about all my events uh, so that you don't miss out on any of them. So if you're not on my email list just yet, definitely subscribe. So after the video, I'll definitely put a link in for that. All right, I'm going to switch over my camera, and let's get our crafty fun going. Okay, you guys don't have to tell me about the sound. I'm trying something different today, and I'm hoping that the sound is a little bit better. Um, so you guys will have to let me know. Is it too soft? Is it too loud? Is it mumbly? Um, well, beyond my normal speech, I guess you could say, right? <laughs> oh, Jean, you have three layers on. Super cold in Oregon today. Hey, Susan, glad you're here. Uh, oh, good. You love the sketch from Makers Mojo. Just ordered that stamp set for class. Yeah, the Graceful Tiles stamp set is really, really pretty. And it's it's one that I think, at least I know, many of us miss it, right? It's in the annual catalog. I'll bring it in so you can see what I'm talking about real quick here before we get started. So this is the stamp set, Graceful Tiles, that we're featuring in that, that card class. And I'll tell you, the samples are gorgeous. And um, I'm hoping to next week on our Tuesday Live, we'll do something using this stamp set so you can see it in action. Um, that's my goal. We'll see how that plays out, right? So this is the project I'm sharing with you today. So this was actually, we had our Makers Mojo event this weekend. Oh my gosh, it was jam-packed full with amazing, amazing, amazing content. And we had such a great group of people that joined us. So if you're one of those, that joined us. Thank you again. And I hope you had a wonderful time. And if you missed it, oh my gosh, don't miss the next one. We will have uh, early bird registration open October, not October, November 1st. And it will go for about a week. Granted, you'll be able to register anytime up until the event. You just don't get all the extra perks of early bird. So more to come on that. That's one week away. And um, for sure, if you're on my email list, you will get notification about that. So be sure to join my email list if you have not already. All right. So this card I made with the Celebrate with Tag stamp and die bundle. Love this. This has become one of my absolute favorites in the mini catalog. I really, really love it. And so we had a little sketch social after the event. And let me bring in the sketch so you can see. So this was our sketch. And so our challenge was to create a project that was inspired by that sketch. Now, of course, if you've not used sketches before, sometimes we take them a little bit too literally, right? Like you can turn them different ways. You can interpret the elements however you want. You can leave elements off. You can add elements, whatever you want. So you can, hopefully you can kind of see what, um, see the sketch in my project that I created. So lots and lots of fun. Um, so anyway, so we are going to create this today that was inspired by this. So I do have a couple of designer papers that I combined on my sample here. One is the sto Storybook Gnomes. I use this lovely print here because I felt like it looked very sweatery, like a mitten. So I pulled that one in. And then I also pulled in the Fresh Brescia color assortment because I thought that the blue and purple went really, really nice together. I think it's got a nice, cool feel to it. Very snow-like, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on this one. The project itself is pretty darn simple, but I used a lot of different things. So first, Ran my basic white cardstock layers through the embossing folder, Wintry 3D. So this one is a two-pack. It comes with this fabulous snowflake as well as a uh, like an evergreen pine branch um, 
image as well. And it is 3D, so you get great, great texture on that. And I love it. So because it's a narrow folder, I did it at the top. And so I have the texture across the top, but no texture across the bottom where this uh, kind of splits it up. So I've got that first. And then we've got a piece of Knight of Navy. So let's go ahead and adhere those together with our stamp and seal. Now, um, I will have the complete supply list in the video afterwards. So you'll have to do the show more to expand it to see it. But you'll have the complete supply list links so that all you have to do is click and add them to your shopping cart to order any of the supplies that you need. And then there'll be the measurements. So you'll have the cutting dimensions as well for everything. And I've started putting the uh, metric in there as well for those of you that need that. Oh, hey, Mary. So glad you're here as well. Good, good, good. All right. So now I'm going to add my strip of designer series paper. So again, all the measurements will be in after the video. I'm not going to try to remember these because I'll, I'll tell you incorrectly and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to center this on that layer, more or less centered, right? It's handmade, so it may not be perfect and that's okay. So then I'm going to bring in my thick basic white card base. So we'll fold that in half. And let's run our bone folder along there. Great, and then I'm gonna pop this up on the front with my dimensionals. Now, if you don't like the height, don't add the height, but you guys, if you follow me for a while, you know I like lots of dimension, texture, height, um, layers, that's my, that's my jam. I'm not a fast, easy, simple girl. You know. But you could simplify it for sure. Did you need the embossed uh, area on the white? No, but it makes it look so cool. I love it. Um, we could have stamped our own design versus using designer paper, but I love, I'm a big fan of designer paper, so I like to pull it in whenever I can. All right, so I've got a little strip of my uh, fresh freesia, and it's just slightly smaller than the full width of the card. I like to cross my layers like that. Um, you could cut it so it's it's more even, but I, I think there's something fun in the design element to be able to expand that beyond the layers a little bit. I'm outside the border, the box, whatever. All right, so we've got this down. So next, I've already die cut a circle with my favorite dies, the stylus shape. I used the second largest circle in this die pack here and cut a vellum circle. I love vellum. It adds such a nice soft feel um, and you can you can do so much with it. Um, you know, I like just adding it as a layer that's just subtle and it breaks things up a little bit. So, oh good, yeah, you like the elegant look with the layers, I'm glad. All right, so let's go ahead and do our mittens next. So we're gonna do a little heat embossing. Um, so I've got a piece of balmy blue cardstock and I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus. So I found because this mitten has such a solid image and apologies for my messy, I did not put a clean grid underneath and I don't keep my grids clean. I reuse them and reuse them. So I've got a messy grid paper underneath here. Let me kind of straighten out my, my paper and all that. Okay, so I've got my stamp set up on my Stamparatus and so I'm just going to kind of eyeball on where does my paper so that looks good so let's go ahead and put a magnet just to kind of secure that in place but I like to use my stamparatus for this because it's such a solid image and then I can stamp it twice right and make sure I get a good coverage so we're embossing but still I want nice I want a nice amount of powder stuck to that so I want to make sure that I get a good stamped image and then you know this allows me to do that Love the Stamparatus. If you don't have a stamp positioning tool, I highly recommend you get one. I don't use it a ton, but there are certain images I just really need it for. So then we're gonna we're gonna actually gonna do three of them. I'm only gonna show one. So we've we've stamped that, and then we're going to heat emboss this in white powder. Let me get my white powder. So of course these come in a small jar. I like to dump mine in a plastic container that's larger. I can just dip and go. I don't have to worry about cleaning up my mess and putting it back in. Granted, we have great tools for that as well. So you don't have to worry about it if you don't have a larger plastic container. All right, and then I'm bringing in my heat tool. Now, this is an old, old heat tool, you guys know. Um, 
still work. So I'm just going to hold it inch, inch and a half away from my image. I'm going to let this melt this powder. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on on the side here and let it heat up for just a moment. Hey, Carmen, so glad you're here. Pop it in. All right, so we'll go ahead and just heat and buff this. Oh, it turns fast. I love it. I hope you guys can see the magic. So cool. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, yeah, you guys use your Stamparatus all the time. Yeah, it's it's great. It's such a handy dandy tool to have. All right, so one of the things about a all over solid stamped image that you're embossing is that sometimes you get this texture in it. Do you guys see that? In this particular image, I absolutely love that because to me, it looks like a knit, like a mitten, right? With that bumpy texture, I think it's so cool. Now, if I were wanting a nice smooth texture, I could have repeated my process, put this back in the Stamparatus and stamped it again and added another layer of the white embossing powder to get a more even coverage. But because of what this image is, I'm totally excited that it's got that, what is it, a marled look to it. So we will bring in our tag celebration dies. Let me, celebrations tag dies. So this is the die set right here. So we've got these two tag images and all these other fun little elements. I'm just gonna pull out this little mitten right here. I'm gonna die cut this. Now, we need three of these. I've done these ahead of time so you guys didn't have to watch me emboss and die cut. Um, so I've already made my three. So I've got my three little mittens, kind of like my three little kittens who lost their mittens. We're not going to let them lose any mittens, are we? Okay. I know I'm being silly today. So then we're going to go ahead and put this down. So I, again, I like dimensions. So I'm going to use dimensionals. You do not have to use dimensionals. You can put yours flat if you prefer. But I'm going to pop this up. So let's go ahead and put one of these down. And I kind of like that. And then I'm going to put a second one, and I want it popped up on top of that one. So I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to double stack, right? And I'm going to go to the outer edge. And the reason I'm doing that is because of where my overlap is, right? Let me try to explain that a little bit better. I'm not explaining that well right now. So you got to remember to take the backing paper off between the layers. That's important. All right. So here I'm just doing one. And on these outer edges, I stack two. And the reason being, this has already popped up. So I need an extra pop here to be able to stack those, right? Um, let's see, I wanna make sure I clear. All right, cute. Love it, love it, love it. So you can see what I've done back here, hopefully, where it's nested up, but not exactly on top of each other. Great. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this on my card front. Now that I know where to put my adhesive, because your adhesive is going to show through your vellum. So this is why I did what I did. And I find that because this is already popped up using my, um, I don't know if this is my nemesis or what, but liquid glue and I don't always get along. It, there's a purpose for it, but I don't always get along with it. So anyway, we're pulling it in, right? Um, let's go right there. How about that? Great. How's the sound? Can you guys hear me okay? Not bad? Better than normal? Worse than normal? Just curious. Okay, so let's go ahead and add, do our sentiment next. So I've got my Knight of Navy ink pad and this Be Jolly stamp. Now again, this is a really solid image. So if you were concerned or were having trouble stamping this and getting a good solid image, this would be another one that you could put on the Stamparatus. Now, because of the size of this, I've not had any issues, or at least I'm assuming that's why it's because of the size. You know, it's a nice small image, so it, it's easy to get good surface coverage. And my pads, I try to keep my pads pretty juicy so that they're easy to um, use, right? They're always inky and ready to go. I don't always do it. I My intention is, but I don't always do it. All right. And then we're going to use this little die and die cut this. Now, if you didn't have these dies, you could fussy cut these images without any, any problem at all, okay? So don't feel like you have to have them, but when you see how cool the tags are, you're going to want them anyway, and they don't have to always be used as a tag. 
All right, so we've got our B jolly. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that down. I'm gonna use dimensionals for that as well. And I'm just gonna grab some from the edge of my dimensional pack. You could use minis as well, but I'm gonna take advantage of that skinny strip along the side there and put that down. And I'm just gonna butt that kind of kind of up towards my mitten there. I can go in pretty far. Let's do that. How about that? So this is going to bend up a little bit because this height is not as tall as this because I didn't double stack it, which is fine. It's all good. All right. Let's bring a little bit of twine. So I've got my baker's twine and this is white and I'm just going to tie myself a little bow. You can use about, uh, you know, really anywhere from nine to 12 inches. It depends on how big you want the bow, how big you want the tail. Um, you know, I'm going to kind of go loose on my bow here. And I'm going to leave my tails a little bit longer on this. And I can always trim them off if I need to. A little brighter in the sound. Good. Okay. So would you guys say it's an improvement? I hope so. All right. I'm going to hold off on that just a moment. I want to go ahead and die cut a snowflake. So again, I'm going to bring in the, these tag dies. And this snowflake right here, I've die cut out of fresh Grisha cardstock. Love the stitch detail. One of my favorite things is when we do stitched detail. Okay. And we'll just grab a little, what I call a booger. Apologies for calling it a booger, but I call them a booger. It's a mini glue dot. We'll grab that. And I'm going to put this just on the back of this snowflake. Okay. So I can kind of see where all that's playing, right? And then I'm going to take another glue dot and get my take your pick. I'm actually going to grab a couple of them. Hopefully I can get good, good coverage this way. And I'm going to kind of ball it up a little bit on the back there. And then we're going to place this. And I want to cover the end sort of of the banner, but I don't want to cover up my word, my be jolly. I want to be able to see that. So I'm just going to be able to kind of work that glue dot right down in there. Cute, right? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's finish the front with a little bit of bling, and then we can bring our design to the inside. So I am using the trusty go-to adhesive rhinestone. Still one of my faves. And let's take a giant one here. I see one just kind of hanging off the end of this package. Let's take that large one and put that right in the middle of our snowflake. Give a little bling a bling. And then I'm going to put a couple of the smaller ones right in the middle of the mittens. Love it. Just the perfect touch of sparkle. And I love that these rainstones, you can change the color by easily coloring them with our stamp and blend. So then you have rainstones in every color. Not that you need them necessarily, but lots, lots of fun. All right. So there's the outside of the card. Fun, right? I love it. So let's bring our design to the inside. You guys know I like to do that. So on my original sample, you're going to see I had a, I just used a scrap of designer paper. So this one is about an inch. This one's less, right? It's about maybe five eighths of an inch. It's okay. I'm going to use the skinnier one on this card because it's what I had. It's just a scrap. And I like to take my scraps because we end up with all these little strips, right? I like to take my little strips and use them to bring the design to the inside of my projects. I think it adds a really nice finishing touch, not something that you see in a store-bought card, which makes it a little extra special. All right, my layers are down. Let's go ahead and get this inside our card. I am almost out of stamp and seal. I can see that red coming closer and closer. All right, let's slide this right on the inside here. Great. And then I originally left it plain. And then I was like, you know what? How cute would it be to add a little mitten inside? So we're going to add one, right? So just use a little liquid glue. And just place this right down. Fun, right? So I have to show you guys. So this week, I don't know if you saw, if you're on my email list, hopefully you've seen. I am hosting an online workshop this Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. I have a, a Facebook, 
Facebook woo, group for it. So I'll make sure that you've got the link in the description below. Um, again, if you're on my email list, you will get an email about it. You've actually gotten one already, but you've got, you'll get another one coming later this week. But I am featuring the Stamp and Die Bundle, the Celebrate the celebrate with tag stamp and die bundle i hope i didn't just lose you i had uh, put my phone on do not disturb but my husband is on my exception list so he's tried to ring me uh so we'll check in with him in a moment hopefully if i didn't lose you guys but i want to show you really quickly a project that we are going to be making in our tuesday or thursday night facebook live so they are all using this celebration tags bundle and i love them okay so first one, this one right here, cute. So I'm bringing back in the mittens and we're making a gift card holder out of it. So you've got a little pocket, that's one. This one has a little tag inside here, a two from. So you could put a gift card in that as well there or a little note. And then you've got a pocket on the inside, another place to uh, bring in a gift card. And then we've got a let's celebrate you. And so we've got a little some glimmer paper going on, kind of fun. To me, you can use this any time of the year. Wouldn't it be a great birthday? Um, and then, oh, look, I stamped happy birthday. Mm, too funny, I'd forgotten. And it's a little pocket as well, so that could be a gift card holder. And then last but not least, we've got a super pretty Valentine-inspired one. So you got a little love, made with love inside. So we've used the tag, it's the decoration on the front, and the inside of this one is blank. Uh, I did not turn this one into a gift card holder, but you could easily do that. So I would love for you to join me this Thursday night in our Facebook group to create these fantabulous cards. So we've got a four card class going on. I will have some order specials for those that would like to participate. Uh, so anyway, I hope that you will join me. Thank you all so much for joining me for uh, our crafty fun today. And I hope to see you Thursday in the Facebook group for the online workshop. But if not, I will catch you again next Tuesday for our next live paper crafting class. Thanks so much. Bye for now.